Welcome back to our channel, thank you for tuning in. My name is Rodney and I'm pretty sure that you've been doing some research and looking for the best Fantastic Beasts ones around, right? Well, stick with me for a few minutes, I'm gonna save you a lot of time and frustration so that you can choose the right one for you or if, like me, you went for all of them, then you can just see this like a review. I'm gonna help you avoid a potential nightmare that I'll, I'll explain later. <laughs> When I was looking for Fantastic Beast ones, I was in your exact same shoes. I went through like quite a few videos and websites and watched some long videos and some painful videos to try and find out which is the best one to go for. So I'm not going to do that. I promise to keep it real short and concise and give you what I found. And when looking for the best Fantastic Beast wand, which company to go for and sort of which one to choose. So you can avoid sort of wasting time and money and choosing the wrong one and getting stuck with the wrong, wrong one that you may not really like that much and then having to sort of save until the next time or that's it basically. <laughs> this is Newt's Commander's one. So when you're looking for Fantastic Beasts ones, there are a few things you want to consider, right? You want to get the best price basically, you know, nobody wants to pay more than they have to. Also, that you choose the right one. Now, I made a mistake sometimes of going for your favourite character. Now, they can sometimes be a bit dull ones and you may not want to go that for your first or if you're sort of building up a collection I've been building up the most interesting ones rather than just the favorite characters also you think about where you're going to store the ones and how you and, and the way that you buy that will also depend on how you store that and also you want to choose a reliable company and not get sort of a cheaply manufactured one that's going to break and also look a bit tatty because obviously these are quite expensive, so you want to sort of choose correctly. This is Tina Goldstein's one. Right, so if you get this wrong, you're going to end up with maybe a one that you don't really like. Also, where you're going to store it. And also maybe a, you know, inferior quality product, basically. And because they're quite pricey, you're going to have to either wait until the next time you save up or until the next occasion where you can ask for it as a gift. If you have family and friends, also kind of to gift you as a present. This is Percival Graves' wand. So my number one recommendation for Fantastic Beast wands is to purchase from a official Harry Potter supplier. So now why do I recommend Fantastic Beast wands? Well, three reasons. Well, basically, Fantastic Beast is brand new and these have been made to very high quality from official suppliers. Two, we're finally getting a new look into new characters and a whole new look in the wizarding world and this is just bringing you closer to the whole new world that J.K. Rowling is writing. I'm so excited for that. And three, they make a fantastic collectible. This is Queenie Gold Scenes one. They are just beautiful, the boxes are beautiful, the ones are beautiful. Obviously the creators and designers and everything that made these ones put a lot of effort into them and I really appreciate all that. So that's why I find that purchasing from Harry Potter supplies is the best value and obviously Noble Collection is one of the, the greatest sort of makers of Harry Potter replica stuff like out there and obviously Noble Collection make all the ones so I would really recommend going for them. And this is Serafina Pickery's wand. If this video has helped you out be sure to hit the like button on the bottom right of this video and if you have a question post it below in the comment section below. I hope I've helped you make a better decision about Fantastic Beasts wands and obviously picking the right one. But however, if you all go for all of them like I have because I want to collect all of them, then hopefully you've sort of seen these in more detail and give me a little bit more insight. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these Fantastic Beasts ones. I know if you helped you out sort of choose you know the right one. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. You can do that by clicking on that box over there. And if you've liked this video, then you may also like my other one collection video, which you can find by clicking on that box over there. And as we know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.